Elaine Art Geek here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've posted my last studio vlog. Don't mind me as I'm trying to get used to the vlogging style again, like at, at home. I know I've been vlogging a lot at conventions. I don't know. I feel that like when I'm vlogging at home, I, and let me know if you guys feel the same way. I do get a little insecure about my room and like my area as a whole at home because it's not it's not perfect and it's not pristine, but I have to get over it because I do feel picky about that, especially with my own space. If you've been follow following my Instagram, I've only been taking shots of my desk, which I'll show what my desk looks like because it's supposed to be filmed. It's, a, it's supposed to look nice for the camera, I guess. I do need to get into the habit of vlogging again, even if my room does not look the best. I do want to do a day in my life. I hope that you guys enjoy this sort of stuff. Again, I want to continue my vlogging on top of my convention stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy. I have con prep to do today because I have a convention this weekend. Um, it's called Swamp Con in Gainesville, Florida at the University of Florida campus. I am very excited because I have done this convention last year and it was amazing. Believe it or not, before I did Hallmat, it was actually my best convention in terms of numbers. I'm not expecting SwampCon to beat out MegaCon, God no. I am excited to see everyone again and just make a good amount of money and have a good time, pretty much. I do need to make labels for my sticker packs, which I am going to be making. I'm gonna be making Mr three sticker packs using labels that will be made by my Moonbin printer, which I will be showing off here in a second. I do want to thank Moonbin for sending me their printer. They sent it to me a few months ago and I'm just now getting around to recording it and showing it off, demonstrating how it works for you guys. Let's go ahead and get the day started. Right now it is 9.30, so I'll probably put timestamps somewhere on the screen throughout the video to kind of give you guys like what I'm doing during the day, day in my life as a full-time artist. I think I also will do some art. I did have an illustration I would like to add more detail to, so I'm going to do that as well. And then I also have something else that came in the mail that I want to show you guys. Yes, I feel like today is a little bit planned, a little bit kind of random, random. Let me show off the printer really quick and all the materials that I received through Moonbin. Let's go ahead and get started from there. So this is my little Moonbin printer. Yes, I already unboxed it and everything because I've been using this to ship out orders, which has been amazing, by the way. I've also been using this to make labels for my orders. I think I'll probably do that today too. We'll see. The main priority is to make labels for my sticker packs. So that's what we'll be using this bad boy today. This is the Moonbin printer. I'll put the full name on the screen here so that if you guys are curious to have one of your own, you can access the printer down in the description below. I will be putting links down there. So yeah, this is my Moonbin. My Moonbin. I don't know why I keep messing up the name. I'm so sorry. This is also my desk. Everything is kind of empty on this side, but then when you go over here, it's pretty much full of life, if I'm gonna be honest, because I did add some plants. I've been collecting these like fake plants around my desk for a couple of months because I just wanted something to add for decoration. I don't want it to just be like, oh, pens, pencils, paper. It accentuates the desk almost. I have these polka dot bags I got from Amazon, my washi tape, my business cards, and my stickers that I seal my orders with. And then I have this lovely mason jar that this artist I will also link in the on the screen here. She gifted this for me during WasabiCon last year and it was so sweet. Thank you. I always have it displayed here. And then I also have some markers and I have this cute little candle which I'm going to light today because it smells amazing. I have some more plants. I use this whenever I make my reels, whenever I do like my order packing on the desk or I do anything on the desk, I use this. I did get a tripod for my phone whenever I want to do like wider shots like this, but I haven't gotten the chance to do that yet. Let me go ahead and show you more of the Moonbin printer and the materials that came with it. 
So along with my moon bin printer, I also got a lot of these free goodies um, that go with my printer, shipping labels especially. So I'm very grateful that moon bin sent me all of this stuff for free to show it off in this studio vlog. I got this like rainbow roll here and I've been, I've only been using this for my orders because it's so cute. And I will probably use this for my labels today too, for my, for my sticker packs. And then they also sent me this one for Valentine's Day, even though that's already passed. So unfortunately I haven't used it, but I will definitely use this for something else. And this is how they label their labels, by the way. <laughs> and then they also sent me these two envelopes and they have more labels inside, as you can see, like sample labels. So let's go ahead and open them. They have more options for labels here. And it's just like a nice variety, lots and lots of them. They also have this, which are the shipping labels when you ship out your orders and you need to print out a label for them. So that's in this envelope. And I believe in the other envelope is the same thing. I didn't actually open this one just yet. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. So it's just two envelopes of the same type of labels inside. Thank you so much Moonbin for all of these samples. This box is nothing but shipping labels. A whole box of thermal labels. I am so grateful because I have this whole box and I don't need to buy shipping labels for a while until, I don't know, like maybe by the end of the year, we'll see. That is pretty much what Moonbin has gifted me and I'm very excited to continue using their printer and using their labels to spruce up my business, make my business a lot more personal and more professional. Yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Okay, so before I start making my sticker packs, making my labels for said sticker packs, I want to mention two things. One, I love this little cup this bridesmaid cup because my friend is getting married. I'll tag her here because she's also an artist. I'm pretty sure that you guys have seen her in my videos a lot. So she's getting married. Say congratulations to her. She deserves it. I am a bridesmaid for her wedding and I love the cup you gave me. So thank you. I've been using it for coffee. And then I think what I'll do too today, I mean, obviously today, but like now is I think I'll work on that illustration for a little bit because I am almost done and I do want to post it, but I'll show you what the illustration is and how I normally post things. Because it's not a reel, it'll just be an illustration. I will probably just post it on Instagram, but usually if it's a reel, I'll record my reel and do everything on TikTok first, and then I will save the video to post it on Instagram and then copy and paste the description. Maybe in one of these vlogs, I will showcase that. The time is now 10 o'clock. Yeah, for 30 minutes, I've just been doing whatever, but we're actually gonna get work started. Let's work on the illustration and go from there. This is the illustration right here. If you guys don't know who these characters are, I feel that some of you do, but if you don't, this is Angel Dust and this is Husk from Has Been Hotel, which is a new show on Amazon Prime and it's amazing. I really like the show. I also really like the soundtrack. I've been nothing but listening to the soundtrack for like two weeks straight. It's kind of insane, but I wanted to make an illustration for them to sell at SwampCon this weekend because I know that the popularity is like booming and I want to make an illustration to one, show my appreciation of the show because Loser Baby is actually one of my favorite songs from the show. And then two, it'd be a great way to make a little bit more money because I know the fandom is popping right now and they would love to buy has been hotel related stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be working on. I'm pretty much done. I just need to add like a few more details to it and then it is ready for posting.
I just posted my illustration and it's already getting a lot of reception. So thank you guys so much for giving it love already. I always love having to share my standalone artworks. Usually I've been posting a lot of reels because I know that on Instagram reels reach more people and I've been doing it a lot more because of that. But it is nice to just show off like a single illustration and believe it or not, it really does depend on how you tag things and how, you know, engaged your audience is because sometimes it does better than my reels. So it's something that I learned on social media every single day because I am on social media every single day as part of the business, it's part of the job. I just have to be consistent. That is the key to be consistent. And I know it's really difficult, but if you want your business to grow, especially gradually, it is difficult to do that, but you kind of have to if you want that to happen, which is so, Oh, you have to have a schedule for it. I don't have a posting schedule yet. I just post whenever I feel like it, which is kind of bad. We'll figure out if I will make a schedule or not. It is 11 now, um, 11 in the morning. I will go ahead and get started on making those labels for these sticker packs. I will assemble those sticker packs as well so you get to see the process. Let's get to it. <laughs>
out the labels and I also decided to print more of my Happy Mail stickers because I ran out and I wanted to print more for future orders. So we got that situated, but we are in the kitchen because I am getting a little hungry. Sometimes I make these last minute decisions regardless, but during my during the printing, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to eat. So that's why we're here. I've just been throwing a lot of things on toast recently. Last week and earlier this week, I've just been eating nothing but avocado toast, but we ran out of avocados. So I am just going to be using this, which is, it says animal free cream cheese spread alternative. This is really good. It's strawberry flavored, having some bread with it too. I think that's it because I'm not hungry hungry, but I'm also like wanting to eat. Let me go ahead and fix that up and go from there. <music> Back here in the room, I basically took a little bit of a break because I needed to charge my camera. And so I just sat on the couch, watched Artist Alley vlogs and relaxed for a little bit. And now we are back here. I did print out my mystery sticker pack stickers. I printed 15 of these because I feel like I wanted to make 15 for the convention. I know it's a little bit, bit of a big number for mystery sticker packs, but I think I do have enough to make those packs. I also printed out Happy Mail stickers as well. By the way, when you peel the sticker, it's a flower and I'll show you when I pack those mystery sticker packs. They are adorable and I just needed to restock this for online orders. We're gonna go ahead and get the mystery sticker pack packing started and I'll show you guys the process for it.
I was getting a little hungry again and that's what happens when I eat a light lunch so I had a little bit of a snack and relaxed a bit but now we're here again so all the sticker packs have been packed ready to go and now I want to show you guys what I got in the mail yesterday plastic grids I got these blue plastic grids in the mail because I want to change up my display for tabling in the artist alley why did I choose blue when my main theme for my business is pink well, originally it was pink. It was just pink. Recently, I've been really into the CMYK palette, the cyan, magenta, and yellow palette. And I figured, well, I already have a pink picnic blanket for a table cover, but you know what? I didn't want to go for the pink grids because I don't want it to be completely pink. I wanted it to be that CMYK palette. So I got blue grids. I don't know what I'm going to do with the yellow part of the business yet. Maybe I'll change up the signs or something like that, or add something else that's yellow to really pull it together with that theme. I'm very excited to finally shift over to these. Lounging around the metal grids have been a pain and I definitely want to consider, you know, flying to cons. I will pack a few of the metal grid ones uh, for like storage purposes, but I will be using these for display. Like I think tonight I will put each of my display prints, tape it onto each of these and when I build it, I don't have to clip on the prints afterwards. It will already be attached. It's, it's so effective. I don't even know why I didn't think of this earlier, honestly. We will do that for probably the rest of the night. Call it a day after because I feel that we did a good amount of con prep today. Like I feel by putting on the prints on these bad boys cut off a good amount of time when we're setting up the table. I will see you guys during that setup process.
So it's now seven o'clock at night. I think I'm going to tap out for the night because I am very tired of doing kind of like the same tasks over and over again, which was taping the prints and putting it on the display. Um, that took a toll on me for a little bit. It took me about a little over an hour and I think I am done for the night. I do have these prints that I didn't tape to the boards because I have the 10 by 12s and I put the 10 by 12 prints on display. I will put these in a portfolio where the comic samples are as well. And I think I will probably call this the end of the vlog as well. So thank you guys so much for watching until the end. It really does mean a lot to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. I know I have to continue making studio vlog content. That was part of my 2024 goals. If you have watched this far into the video, thank you seriously for watching my stuff. My next video will definitely be a Swamp Con vlog. Have a good night, everyone, and I will see you then.